Hey everybody, it's me, Lisa T, coming at you with some positive energy. It's been a minute since I've done a video and um, some people in my life, some of my clients um, at my work and um, a few others have said to me like, oh, you haven't done a video in a while or have you done a video in a while or how's your YouTube, something like someone's mentioned it. and. Um, so I thought today, I thought, oh, it must be time. I'm getting a sign that it's time to do a reading and, and just stay, stay in, um, stay in this lane, stay in this lane that I've created where I, I, I share from my heart. Um, I share my experience and I share some hope, I hope, <laughs> some hope, I hope. Um, so, um, just randomly, I haven't, um, I haven't been reading this book daily myself, but let's see what it has to offer today. So today I'm feeling... I'm just feeling a lot of gratitude and contentment. I wouldn't say it's like I'm 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 happy or I'm joyful. I'm just really content today. Um, I, I've been the last couple of weeks reflecting on a lot of you know stuff that triggers me, and um, I have gotten some triggers that have happened, but I've been able to see them for what they are, and simply that they are just triggers, and they're they're not reality. They're not what's happening now. They're not the truth, and um, and I've been conscious enough of the triggers so that when the trigger happens, and I feel it in my body, and I and I, um, I don't let the body start take I because I call it what it is a trigger it's I haven't let it have the opportunity to move up into my head and start storytelling about what this feeling is all about and the trigger goes back to like the first time you ever felt that so we get triggered today and the gun goes off um and then and then you know the gun goes off and boom you're 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 feeling it in your body you feel so you feel this fear the sense of fear and um and then your mind starts to tell a story to help understand what's happening in the body the mom wants to make sense of it so if we recognize it as a trigger um then we don't let the, the storytelling start happening which if the storytelling starts happening we'll start to eventually believe that and then we're not in reality anymore we're in some illusion we made up in our heads so i'm feeling so i've been reflecting on this kind of stuff in my healing journey um over the last week or so and and today just being able to sit after moving through some bumps um, over the last week, I've been able to today be able to sit and just be really grateful for all the experiences that I've had that have brought me to where I am today. And so, yeah, I thought yeah, it's good. It's a good time to share some letting up. It's, it's a good time to share and light up your life with Lisa, um, sending out some positive energy. So today is June 5th, I believe, right? Uh, yeah, I think it is June 4, June 5. Yeah, something like that. So let's see here march april may june okay june five what are you trying to prove oh that's i can recognize that too like in the last week you know it was like my i was trying to prove that i was good enough i was trying in the past when these triggers come i tried to prove that i'm safe i'm trying to prove that i'm good enough i'm trying to prove that i'm that i'm protected in some way and i try to take that all on myself um as opposed to trusting that those things are just all true they're just all true that I am of course I'm good enough of course I'm okay of course I'm safe of course um you know past stuff uh there was moments in my past where there was an unsafe experience but it's all brought me to where I am today and, and I made it through them all and I made it through them all to this point where I think I could say I made it through with flying colors you know they were tough it was hard there's been tears there's been a lot of talks there's been a lot of therapy there's been a lot of stuff but I'm here and I made it through so Stop trying to prove, right? I got to stop trying to prove that I'm safe and prove that I'm worthy and prove that I'm valuable, and prove that I belong and prove these things, prove that I'm okay. Like, I just am. We are. You are. So what are you trying to prove? June 5th. You don't have to prove anything to anyone, not even to yourself, like I just said, right? A subconscious desire to prove ourselves may be hiding at the root of our fears, like I just explained. The root of our tension, tension in the body is like, oh God, I got to correct, I got to prove, you know, I got to protect myself. I got to prove to myself that I'm protected. I got to prove to myself that I can fight this. I got to, so the tension builds in the body and the shoulders are, we got to prove that I can take it on and take on the world because I'm, I'm not okay just, just being, you know, so I got to take it on, take it on, take it on. Then we take the weight of the world on our shoulders and all that tension builds up. We get headaches, right? Because we're, we're holding too much. <sighs> we're trying too hard to prove ourselves. So at the root of our tension, so the subconscious desire is that maybe at the root of our fears, root of our tension, root of our need to do and be more, like I just said, accompanying it, accompanying, accompanying it, <laughs> that's hard to say, accompanying, accompanying, <laughs> I'm going to give myself a little giggle on this one for a couple of shots here, accompanying, accompanying, 
accompanying, <laughs> say it six times fast, it's a weird word, accompanying it can be a burning belief that we aren't good enough. There it is. That's, that's at the core of so many things. Um, a belief might, that might also might be accompanying it, it, accompanying it is that we need to compensate compensation. I need to compensate. I don't feel good enough. So I need to compensate by people pleasing. I need to do more. I need to show, I need to give more, give more compensating because there's this lack inside of us and, and it's false. It's a false belief. So that we need to compensate for some deficiency in ourselves in order to take our place on this planet to prove I belong. I, gotta, I, I used to do this with accomplishments. I got to, I got to do this and I got to, I got to accomplish, you know, I had, I had to strive for perfection when I was in school. It had to be, I remember one time bawling after I got a 97% uh, on an exam because I knew better. I was, and I was so upset with myself because proving, you know, I needed to prove that I belong, I, that I deserve a spot in this planet on in this schools, you know, like I, 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 that was subconsciously going on underneath it all. So there's some, so we think that we need to do these things because there's this belief that we aren't good enough and that we need to prove ourselves in order to take our place on this planet. We may feel like we have to earn our place, earn our right to be here, earn it. I got to earn it. I remember feeling that for sure. Like I got to earn it. I got to, I got to, I, I used to do that with, with family and with friends even. I thought I had to like over, over give to earn that honor of being in the, being in the family or being their friend, you know, no, like we're okay just as you are just as you are. Don't have to do nothing. Just be. Stop being a human doing and be a human being. <laughs> we may feel like we have to earn our place, earn our right to be here, like we're being watched and judged. The only one judging us is ourselves. We may feel like we're being graded. No, no, no mistake, I just used the school example, right? Like graded. I was getting great. I felt like I was getting graded in life. So you don't have to prove anything to anyone. You're fine just the way you are. You have energy, vitality. You have particular gifts and talents. Everybody, we all have our unique thing. You know, we, are, we all have a unique nose, a unique smile, a, a unique body, a unique um, gift to this world, a unique purpose, a unique job, a unique way of living, and a, a unique desires, unique hobbies, right? Like everyone has their uniqueness. So. Um, you have particular gifts and talents and you have been learning your lesson, lessons just right. You've been learning all your lessons just right in this life. So here's a little, um, I don't know what I would call these. They're not a prayer, maybe an affirmation to yourself that you can use today, okay? Here we go. Let go of the need to prove yourself to others, to parents, people from the past, people in your life today. Let go of the need to prove yourself to others. Could it be the one you've really been trying to prove something to is yourself. So if we're telling ourselves we're not good enough, we're going to try and prove that, you know, prove that we are. We'll try too hard and exhaust ourselves. So could it be that you're the really, the, sorry, could it be that the one you've really been trying to prove something to is yourself? The answer is simple. Learn to approve of yourself. Love and accept yourself the way you are today. Then step right up and take your place in this universe where you belong, you are loved, you are valued, you are special in your own way, and um, you can just be, just be. Be a human being today, not a human doing, just be and enjoy the gift that this universe has for you. Thanks for watching, love you all.